Hello and welcome to Louise Singleton Creations. In today's video, I'll be unboxing all my new goodies from HTV Rons and I'll be giving you a short demonstration on how I used the fabulous vinyls which they sent me to make a St. Patrick's Day themed cushion. If that sounds interesting or useful, stay tuned and enjoy the video. The excitement of opening parcels never grows old, does it? Even when you know what's inside, it's always a different experience seeing it in real life instead of on a screen. You never know quite how it's going to look, so it's really nice to get your hands on these things and really have a close look. So as soon as these arrived, I was straight to my craft room to unopen them. So, as I've already said, my package is from HTV Rond and they contacted me and asked me if I'd like to do a couple of videos to celebrate their spring sale. And one video will be a St. Patrick's Day video, which is this one, and the next one will be an Easter one. So, I chose what I was going to use in my projects and one of the things I wanted to make was some Easter bunting and that will be next week. And I thought that this glitter vinyl would look really good on my bunting. And so, yeah, that's what I've got here. And look at all the different colours. Looks great, doesn't it? Do you know, I've never used um, glitter HTV before. So in this video, it was my first time and it was great. It looks so good. I'll speed through this second packet because it was very similar to the first one. The only difference this time was that the colours of the Glitter HTV were darker. So I've got a really good range for my projects for next week. Right, we're on to the package I was most excited about because I wanted to get started on my project. I had the idea in my head and I just wanted to get on with it. So this is the one I was going to be using and I wanted to see if it looked as good in real life as it did on the screen. It's a chameleon one which means it changes colour in the light and I wanted to see just how much it did change colour. It says green to gold but there's also blues in there when you um, move it in the light. You can't see at the moment but you'll see later on. So I love that green colour. And there's all the details there on the packet as you can see. So you know you don't, there's no guesswork. Everything you need to know is on there which is really useful. And this last package will be exciting for you guys because what I got here is something which is the same as what you could get next week because I'll be doing a giveaway for one of these. So let's see what it is. Yep, you can probably already tell without me telling you. It's a wall-mounted storage hanging rack thing <laughs> for my rolls of vinyl. And it's super long, plus it's double-sided. Isn't that good? That means I'm going to have to get myself some more vinyl. What a shame. <laughs> yeah, I can certainly get lots and lots and lots and lots of rolls in there. So that's amazing. I really love that. And so it can all hang on my wall and I don't have to worry about where I'm going to put it all. I think I'll have the permanent vinyl on one side and HTV on the other side. So as you can see, I'm very pleased. Before I start my demonstration, I'd just like to tell you a little bit about HTV Rond and their upcoming sale. HTV Rond sell a huge range of heat transfer vinyl, adhesive vinyl and printable vinyl. And they also sell many, many tools and machines to go with those. They have a UK site and a .com site and they ship to many countries around the world. And they sell on Amazon too, which is fabulous because we all love using Amazon. They always have lots of tempting offers, sales and campaigns on the go. And that brings us on to the spring sale. Between the 6th and the 17th of March 2023, there will be up to 30% off selected items. They will be offering free Easter and St. Patrick's Day SVG files. 
They'll be having an amazing flash sale. You really need to see that one. And they will also have a very generous vinyl bundle offer. So there's lots to see. So I will leave the links in the description for you to go along and see what you'd like to treat yourself to this spring. Right, let's get using this gorgeous chameleon vinyl. I had a look through the Cricut Projects Library for some inspiration and I saw this cushion. I really liked the idea but I wanted my shamrocks or clovers to be smaller. And so I went into the image library in the Cricut Design Space and found a clover which I liked and just duplicated it and arranged it so it was how I wanted it and to the size that I wanted it and as you can see there's one gold four leaf clover which I'm also going to have in the design and because the overall design for my cushion is too big for the regular cutting mat I selected two rows and attached them together and then I attached the other three rows and attached them together and I will cut them out on two separate cups on my long Cricut mat. Once I'd completed my design and pressed make it, it showed me the mat and it showed me how much space the image would take up on the mat and then I knew how much vinyl I would need to put onto my mat. So then I took my chameleon green vinyl out of the box and cut out the exact amount I would need on my mat and I placed it face down, shiny side down, onto the mat. Now, the reason you need to do it that way is heat transfer vinyl already has the carrier sheet attached and that's the shiny side where the carrier sheet is and you don't want to be cutting through that so that goes on the back at the bottom, you know, it sticks to the mat and you cut through the other side which is your vinyl. And so if you're doing text or anything like that, you need to mirror the image before you cut it out. It took me a few attempts to get it in the right position because I was using a brand new mat and it was super sticky. But I got there in the end. <laughs> so in the Cricut Design Space, on the material setting, I chose Everyday Iron On and then clicked to start cutting. I fed the mat into my Cricut Maker and pressed Go. When it had finished cutting, before releasing it from the machine, I tested that it was it cut through okay. I did a test square, as you just saw there, and then I knew it was okay, and I released it from the machine. If it hadn't have cut all right, you know, if the blade had have been a bit dull and it maybe hadn't cut very well, I could have put it back in and repeated the process. But once you've removed it completely, you can't do that. So, yeah, that's why I did the test square. Next, I took my weeding tool and poked it through some of the excess vinyl to get it to release from the film and pulled it all away. And yeah, it comes away really easily. It's really nice and strong. It's very different to do the weeding with HTV than it is with adhesive vinyl. It's much more forgiving and you don't damage it so easily. So yeah, it can be quite brutal. Just rip it off and it's fine. <laughs> and it's easier if you leave it on the mat to do it as well. And then I did exactly the same thing. It's just the same process for my gold four leaf clover. And yeah, that's it really. And then I did the same thing with the other clovers as well. Right, for the front of my cushion, I had a 50 centimetre square of cream cotton. Sorry about my head in the picture, but sometimes I can't, <laughs> I can't do it without putting my head in the way. And I'm just using a lint roller, which is, um, yeah, it's been chewed by the dog, you can probably tell. <laughs> Yeah, you can't leave anything out. My dog will just chew it all. So I'm just getting rid of all the lint, anything that you don't want to have on there because, you know, obviously it'll end up stuck causing lumps underneath your vinyl when it goes on. So you need to make sure it's completely dust free and dog hair and cat hair free and human hair for that matter. And also, as you can see, I've ironed it and I could I folded it into four. So I had those lines there to help me to get everything into position. 
And what you can see me doing here is placing it the wrong way around so that it doesn't stick to the fabric, just to kind of get the position right and so that I was happy with it. And then I turned it the correct way around. And that is the sticky transfer film that's already part of it that I was talking about before. And so, yeah, that's why I just didn't want it to stick to it until I was happy with the position. And so then I turned it over and stuck the transfer down and made sure that I was happy with it. I just did one at a time. I did this one first and then did the second one. So here I have my HTV Ront heat press and I've got it set to 310 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds and I've just placed my fabric onto the um, shelf drawer thing, I can't think what you call it but you know what I mean. I've put it into position and then I'm putting the Teflon sheet over the top to protect it and then just letting it heat and press for 15 seconds. And once the time is up, the heat press just raises up by itself. You don't have to do anything. And then you pull the tray out and it's ready. Because my design is bigger than the heat press, I had to do part of it first and then reposition it and do the same thing again. And then it was all done. And then you need to let it cool down before you remove the transfer film. And let's have a look to see how it looks. I love it. I love the colour of it. And you can see how it stretches really nicely as well. So I repeated the process with the rest of the clovers and the gold one there. I love that gold one. But look at the way the colours change. I love it. All those different shades, it, depending on how it catches the light. And so here it is, all made into a cushion and in its home in my mum's conservatory, yes, you guessed it, it's green so my mum claimed it, she loves green. <laughs> and yeah, I really love the finished result and I love that chameleon heat transfer vinyl and the glitter vinyl as well, so gorgeous. What do you think? I hope you like it. Well, we've come to the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it and it's, I've inspired you to go along to the HTV Ron website and have a look for yourself. And yeah, I will see you again for my giveaway next week. Thank you for watching and bye for now.